Well, tonight we return to the case of Stephen Dodd. He is the retired Biddeford police officer accused in two civil lawsuits of committing sexual assaults. Depositions just released reveal new allegations and what investigators were saying behind closed doors years ago. WMTW News 8's David Charnes broke this story four years ago and has the new details. Hundreds of pages of federal court documents include parts of 50 depositions related to these civil cases. Two lawsuits have been filed against former Biddeford Sergeant Stephen Dodd since 2016. Dodd seen here in a 2011 booking photo on an unrelated charge. According to court paperwork, as we've reported since 2015, Matt Lozon, who grew up in Biddeford, claims Dodd sexually assaulted him in the 1990s. A second man, Bert Gerard of Hollis, claims Dodd sexually assaulted him between 1977 and 1982. Dodd was never charged with a crime. I was abused by one of your police officers. Now, new documents show at least five people, including Rick Alexander, who we interviewed here in 2015, and another man, Dodd's foster child, told the city investigator that Dodd allegedly assaulted him. Lawrence Carey, who died in 2000, said there were two instances where Dodd allegedly touched him inappropriately in the home they shared. But Carey, then an adult, later recanted his accusations, according to state police records. No charges were filed, and according to a deposition with the city police officer who investigated Carey's claims, the original report from the late 80s was lost in a flood, along with other reports from that time. The documents also revealed Dodd was notified of the attorney general's investigation in 2002 and in 2015, but no charges were ever filed. Also, according to these court documents, Biddeford Police Chief Roger Beaupre encouraged the state to revoke Dodd's license to work as a police officer, and Dodd retired at age 46. Part of a newly released deposition of an attorney general's office investigator looking into the accusations answers a question from a lawyer about what he says he found. Question. At this point in the 2002 investigation, there were five individuals who by their own statements were telling you that Stephen Dodd had engaged in conduct with them that would constitute probable cause for a criminal charge, correct? Yes, sir, the investigator answers. Also filed that investigator's summary of a phone call he had with Dodd from 2015. This document says Dodd reached out to that investigator himself, saying at one point, quote, this whole thing has destroyed my life, adding, quote, I know he did nothing wrong. According to the summary, Dodd claims in that phone call he met Lausanne in an adults-only chat room, saying, according to a deposition with the investigator, quote, I did not go looking for this guy. I did not instigate any of this. I did what I thought was constitutional, being in an 18 and above chat room talking to people. That deposition with the investigator who took that call and who investigated claims against Dodd before also includes this statement, quote, There was a culture in the city of Biddeford that probably the worst kept secrets were the fact that there were prominent people likely engaged in illicit activity with minors and that it was part of an accepted culture. These new documents contain just parts of dozens of interviews filed in these cases, most of which are sealed. We reached out to Dodd's attorneys again and have not heard back. I'm David Charns, WMTW News 8.